<coughs> Have you ever wondered what the flame looks like inside of one of these clean burn waste oil furnaces? Probably not, but I'm going to show you anyway, and then I'm going to crank up the oil pressure and see if we can get a six foot flame out of this gun here. And just a quick preface here, in case you're not familiar with waste oil furnaces, this happens to be a 1992 Clean Burn CB2000. I keep used motor oil inside of this 55 gallon drum here. I pour it in the screen here, filter it out a little bit. It's got a little dipstick tube here to see how what the oil level is inside. That oil gets pulled through this line, filtered again right here into this pump, and then into the burner gun here. Over here, we have air pressure in because this does require air pressure to run. The oil's got to be preheated too, so it's got a block heater and a nozzle heater. This is your ignition right here, air induction. It's got a big round fan in here that blows. Of course, the fire is going into your main heat exchanger here, and the hot flue gas is coming out an eight inch vent, triple wall chimney out the roof here. And then on the back side of it, you got a big blower fan to blow air across the heat exchanger. That's the basic operation in a nutshell. This can run anything from number two heating oil all the way up to high point gear oil if you wanted. Everything's fully adjustable so you would run different oil pressures for that. Danger! Disconnect burner power cord before swinging out burner or serious injury may occur. Do not try this at home. And factory equipped, you actually can't swing out the burner without disconnecting the power source because there's usually a little like three inch cord that goes right from here to here so you, you have to disconnect that before swinging out the burner but of course that's been bypassed for this video to fire this thing up i just have it tied into my honeywell thermostat so you can control that from your phone too this first flame is going to be at three and a half psi oil pressure and 22 psi air pressure that's where i normally keep the flame not going to be that clean since there's not going to be any chimney or stack effect but let's see what she looks like there you go i think that's pretty clean for used motor oil what do you think let me see if my cell phone camera can get a better shot of that to show you what's actually going on there you go got oil and air pressure shooting out of that nozzle and then that spark jumping down on it. Let's pull this out again. Yeah, check that out. It's pretty sketchy. It's a nice looking flame, I tell you. Alright, it certainly doesn't burn that clean as you can see from all the smoke, especially when you, you know, it burns much cleaner when it's going through the heat exchanger and sack effect and all that. But let's crank up that oil pressure and see what we got. Here's a better look at the heat exchanger. You have your main burner cavity right here, which actually just cracked recently and I had to weld it. It's uh, kind of a sloppy weld job, I know, but it'll hold up. And then just behind that, you have another series of tubes that go all the way down and that helps transfer all that flue gas heat into the air blowing by this thing. You can see I had one other uh, repair I had to do right there. If these heat exchangers crack, you know, it's bad news because you don't want to be breathing in that a little used motor oil fumes here and there is okay. But you don't want to be breathing that in all the time. That's for sure. And those flames you were looking at, the, the biggest it got, that was around 9 PSI and 35 PSI air pressure. 
Uh, it was running pretty dirty at that. I I'm excited to see what it actually looked like on the camera. Ho hopefully this footage even came out. These waste oil furnaces might run a little bit dirty, but save quite a bit of money, especially if you have used motor oil at your disposal for free. So if you've ever thought about getting one, I suggest it. Give the video a thumbs up if it helps out. Consider supporting the channel by subscribing, commenting, or checking out any of uh, the links down below. Like I'm on Instagram and, and a couple other things like that too. Support the channel and it'll bring you good luck this year. I promise you, okay? Uh, so KZ Guy 2 here, Chris Brown. No nonsense, no how, and I'll see you next time.